Hi, you're watching Jeff's Musical Car in Moncton, and this week I have a returning guest, John Gogo. So, so thanks for coming along. Thank you for having me again. This is fantastic. So it's been a while since you've been on the uh, East Coast. How have your journeys been uh, getting here and maybe some stuff that I've missed out on in the last few years? Uh, well, you miss out on a lot, a lot, of course, as we were like locked down there for quite mm. a while. But uh, coming out again has been fantastic, and uh, we just love it out here. Um, we look forward to coming back often. Yeah. So tell me a bit about your uh, your latest endeavors in music. What do you have on the go? Well, I've just recorded a, a new album, um, and it's uh, I believe I'm going to be calling it Western Balladeer. Okay. And uh, it's a continuation of what I've been into for my pretty much my whole my whole career with in terms of uh, historical stuff and uh, West Coast lore. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I guess uh, that you're going to play a track off that. Yes, I am. Um, as a matter of fact, though, um, when I came out here last time, uh, which was my first time, um, I met a, uh, my wife Sarah and I met a fella in uh, Riverport. I was very interested in trying to meet locals to, um, I was kind of on a mission actually, because um, as I mentioned last time, I'm from a coal mining family uh, on the West Coast, and, and I wanted to find out what, um, what, what people in the Maritimes knew about um, West Coast coal mining because we have quite a his long history of it with a couple of my great grandfathers being coal miners and uh, I found out um, folks out here know very little about our history in coal mining and okay. uh, then that's when I realized it's the songs that um, t uh, carry the stories across the country so um, this fellow his name was Larry and he told me a really lovely story about his granddad and um, as he was telling the story I was thinking this would make a a really good song. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's just a lovely little story. So I hope it's a I hope it's a good song, and uh, it's called Larry's Granddad. All right. Trust your instincts, follow your heart, play the cards you're handed. That's the way I look at life. My friend Larry's granddad mined for coal from the tender age of six. Well, his stepfather swore he could teach this new dog old tricks. In the days before unions and decent labor laws, young boys worked the coal mines too, that's just the way it was. His mom. Well, she was not unkind, still she had to let him work. This man she was married to, he'd become a mean old jerk. Of course, Granddad dearly loved her, so by the time the boy was nine, he was a full-fledged three-year veteran of a Nova Scotia mine. With just his shovel and pick, Granddad became the main breadwinner. They sent him off six days a week packing a bucket with some dinner. Sunday school, that's all he had as far as formal learning. And he duly handed to his mom every penny he was earning. Trust your instincts, follow your heart, play the cards you're handed. That's the way I look at life, so does Larry's granddad. In a nutshell, that was Granddad's life till the boy turned 17. When one Sunday he met Edna Wood, most beautiful girl he'd seen. He went straight up, introduced himself, had to take a chance. Not just pretty, she was smart and kind. He asked her to the dance. And the night he asked politely, Mom, can I get new Sunday best? A new suit, like stepfather bought from the tailor, with a vest? Mom answered, absolutely not, but I might sew you some pants. Granddad said, no thank you, kept his paycheck for the dance.
45 years have come and gone, he's retired from the mine. His back is wrecked, both knees are shot, but everything else works fine. Well, he's kind of hard of hearing, and his breathing's not so good. Still, all is right on Saturday night at the dance with Edna Wood. Trust your instincts for your heart, play the cards your hand did. That's the way I look at life, so does Larry's granddad. Trust your instincts, follow your heart, play the cards your hand did. That's the way I look at life, so does Larry's granddad. Awesome. John Gogo, the storyteller.